If Picasso Painted a Snowman by Amy and Greg Newbold. Published by Tilbury House Publishers. Read aloud by Ms. Anderson. If someone asked you to paint a snowman, you would probably start with three white circles stacked one upon another. Then you would add black dots for eyes, an orange triangle for a nose, and a black dotted smile. But if Pablo Picasso painted a snowman, it would look like this. Not all artists paint the same. Can you find J.M.W. Turner's snowman lost in the blizzard? Blam! Roy Lichtenstein's snow hero saves the day. Georgia O'Keeffe's snowman wouldn't bloom long in the desert. A patchwork quilt, soft and cozy, wraps up Gustav Klimt's snow family. How many snowmen hide in Claude Monet's haystacks? A dust-colored snowman watches Pablito Velarde's ornamental birds. Jackson Pollock painted his snowman, splish, splash, splat. In Salvador Dali's winter fantasy, Snowmen drip like melty cheese. Rickety Rack, a stick snowman, drives Paul Klee's wire car. Mark Chagall's snowman cavort in a bright circus ring. Dot upon dot upon dot, here's a snowman by George Seurat. Pete Mondrian's snowman is a square. Do you see a carrot anywhere there? Circles surround circles as Sonia Delany's snowman spins. The rhythms of the street make Jacob Lawrence's snowman smile. Vincent Van Gogh's snowman swirls and curls in the wavy hills. And Grant Wood's famous snowman gothic will never melt away. What would your snowman look like? Create your own today. The end. Be sure to check out each of the amazing artists mentioned in this book. You might learn something from each of their unique art-making styles. Author and illustrators Greg and Amy Newbold encourage you to draw, explore, and have fun to create your very own artistic style. It took me a whole lifetime to paint like a child. Pablo Picasso